Welcome back to the channel. It's me, Adam, and you are watching Unlimited Options Investing. In this video, I want to talk about the darlings of the stock market, the FANG stocks, Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Microsoft, and Google. They are the five biggest companies in the United States. They are the five big tech companies, and I've heard things from them being super crazy overvalued the stock markets in a bubble as a result of the FANG stocks to other people saying that the FANG stocks are undervalued. They are America. So I want to take a deeper dive into them, look at the charts. So if you are new to the channel, welcome aboard. Hit that subscribe button here at Unlimited Options Investing. We talk everything from stocks to crypto to options, uh, and we are investing for the long term. So welcome to the community as well as always. Smash that like button and let's get started. So starting off with the smallest market cap and then making our way up in chronological order. So the smallest of the big five big tech FANG stocks would be Facebook at a measly market cap of 1.03 trillion US dollars. Year to date, Facebook stock has gone up 35%, uh, which is very, very good, of course. And this is actually one of my biggest investments long term. I'm a big fan of Facebook. Uh, the second smallest one, again, a measly $1.75 trillion would be Amazon stock. Uh, it's currently trading at $3,462 US dollars and year to date. Uh, it's up about 8.66%, so pretty good. It actually looks pretty sideways on the chart and uh, it's actually, I think, is probably the worst performing of the FANG stocks year to date so far. Uh, next up being Google, uh, sitting at $2,816 per share. Uh, this is the Class A share, so uh, Google with an L. And it has a market cap of $1.88 trillion. And once upon a time, this one had a smaller market cap than Amazon. But over the past how many months? Again, year to date, up 63%. So it's been an absolute train. Do not get in front of Alphabet stock or you'll get run over. So Alphabet Google has been on a run. Next up being Microsoft. A, it passed a true trillion, $2 trillion market cap this year. Uh, it has a $2.25 trillion market cap, and year-to-date it's up 37.75%. So this one has actually done very well as well. Um, yeah, it started the year at $217, and it's almost pretty much at $300 right now. And lastly, the biggest company in the world, Apple. If you don't know what they do, they make these um, devices for, I don't know, only a few people use them. They have a market cap of $2.4 trillion US dollars, and year-to-date it's up 12.87%. So I guess this is the second worst performer uh, of the FANG stocks. And we can see here that, again, it's been kind of sideways and only since June time, where, uh, where all the big tech has been doing really well since June, uh, has Apple really gone up quite substantially uh, during that time. Taking a look at Yahoo Finance. So Facebook stock has a one-year target of 416 and is currently trading at a forward PE ratio of 22.67. Amazon has a one-year target of 4,154 with a forward P.E. ratio of 51.44, which is actually pretty low for Amazon. Uh, usually Amazon, I think, trades way higher than that. Uh, Google, a one-year target of 3,146 uh, with a forward P.E. ratio of about 26.52. Microsoft, a one-year target of $330 with a forward P.E. ratio of 29. 0.72 and Apple a one-year target of 167 with a forward PE ratio of 25.58. Taking a look at the candlesticks, so this is the FANG index, and this is actually one of my favorite charts to look at. Unfortunately, it does not have Microsoft, but it has Netflix instead. So taking a look first at the correction from last year. So this is from September 2nd, September 1st from uh, 2020. So I drawed a parallel blue line over here, and I tried to draw it as parallel as possible with the other trend lines underneath. And look where we hit this year, uh, September 7th, well, just, just about 10 days ago. Um, it hits it perfectly, and then, or just, just nicely, rather, and then it finds selling pressure at that point. So just to show that technical analysis does have some merit, it isn't just voodoo. It gives good indications of entries and exits uh, when things are oversold. Uh, when they're overbought. Again, they're not be-all, end-alls, of course, for anything. Uh, we don't know for sure what's going to happen, uh, but again, it gives you patterns and uh, it 
it, it holds some merit. And man, doing it for the past almost two years now, uh, I can say it does definitely. And it's been used for centuries since the Japanese in the 1800s, I believe it is. So uh, awesome, awesome stuff. Candlesticks, yes. So uh, not to get off topic. So uh, it is at the bottom of this channel. Now, how low it goes is anyone's guess. So I want to take our attention to first Facebook stock. Uh, and so firstly over here, it's been in a strong upward trend since about March time, let's say. Whereas last year it was trading mostly sideways. So uh, it is sitting right now on that trend line near the 50 exponential moving day average, which is that green line. It's below it. So it opened below the 20 EMA, which is that red line. And it closed just above uh, the 50 EMA. And it was at a point today below it a little bit. And then it found a little bit of pressure right above. So look, taking a look over the past few months, we would always hit that 50 EMA and then find buying pressure uh, and it held the trend in check. So if we break that 50 EMA with conviction over uh, the next, maybe next week sometime, uh, that could be very ugly for Facebook stock. So we just got to see what happens with that. Amazon stock. So this one uh, has been in an upward trend ish over the past year and a half. Uh, it's been trading in a channel uh, mostly between this 3,400 mark which is near where we are right now. Uh, and this 3000, I think dollar mark over here. So mostly within this channel, uh, a little bit above, sometimes a little bit below, but that is pretty tame for a Fang stock. Also considering that it went straight up during the pandemic time. Uh, this was before the pandemic and then pandemic hit. And then it just went straight up afterward. And then now it's been sideways again. So, uh, it's most likely going to be breaking out, um, sooner rather than later, it is one of the big tech. Definitely interested in Amazon and seeing how that one's going to be reacting over the next few months and seasonally as well. Amazon does very well uh, toward Christmas time and November. Uh, next up being Google. This one has been on a crazy uptrend, just similar to Facebook. Uh, it just it hits that 50 or that 20 EMA and then it finds buying pressure and goes right back up. So this one has been a monster of itself and it just trades however it wants to. It's been oversold for however long and it just keeps going up. Uh, that's Google stock for you. And that's Google stock. So whenever it loses its steam, uh, we'll, I'll let you guys know, but it hasn't gone there yet. Uh, we do have some action going on. It has been pretty volatile over the last, uh, let's say 10 trading sessions or so, uh, but nothing it hasn't seen before until we break that 50 EMA with conviction, similar to Facebook stock. Again, I'm not really worried about this one. Um, there's no bearish indication so far, but that could change very quickly over the upcoming weeks, let's say with Google stock. Microsoft, so similar situation. It's been on a crazy uptrend as well since June time and hitting the 20 EMA along the way up and then always find buying pressure afterwards. So we haven't even touched the 50 EMA since early June. So this one again, until it breaks a 20 EMA, uh, again, uh, again, it would be noteworthy, but until it breaks that 50 EMA with conviction. And at that point, I think the triple Qs will be falling altogether and the thanks stocks will come down together, but there's no indication that that's going to be happening anytime soon. These things could trade sideways. They don't have to go down. They can trade sideways for a bit, maybe dip a little bit and then go back up and then you, you don't know, right? Maybe it goes straight up from here. And then the next time it does dip will be above where it is now. So it's anyone's guess. And lastly, the biggest stock in the stock market, Apple. So this one has been on an epic run since June as well. Uh, it went sideways for a bit, had another leg higher, uh, hit its all time high. And then it had that news with Epic Games in the App Store. And then it's gone down ever since. Again, testing that 20 EMA broke it, testing the 50 EMA now. Uh, and it's hanging in there. So again, uh, it'll be interesting to see what happens next week with Apple stock. And it really could dictate where the stock market goes over the next few weeks really being the biggest one as well as well with Microsoft really right up there with it as well so anything can happen so we really got to follow the price action uh, see what happens over the next few weeks the volatility has increased uh, nothing to worry about though as we haven't seen a correction for so long guys there you always have to be prepared for a correction or a crash to happen that is a part of investing people will be yelling for it to happen tomorrow but it's going to happen eventually and then they're going to say see I told you so so be prepared. It's going to happen and it's going to happen more than once. So be prepared. Let it welcome it. Be Know what you're going to do when it does happen and then execute and then let the rest just unveil. Otherwise, that is the end of my video. And let me know, guys, in the comments below, how are you playing the FANG stocks?
Thank you very much for watching. Again, smash that like button, hit that subscribe button if you're new, and I will see you guys in the next video.